All right, guys, here we go. Unfortunately, I got more on John Fetterman. Fetterman, nobody has blown through more goodwill than John Fetterman in such a short time span. He was like one of the left's favorite uh, politicians, and then it didn't take long for all of that to implode because he showed his whole ass with his fawning, pathetic defense of anything the Israeli government does. So here he is on CNN. You're going to love this. But there are some real questions about what's happening on the ground in Gaza, about the really extraordinary civilian death toll that has happened as a result of this war. Do you believe that anything that Israel has done in these six weeks of fighting has amounted to a war crime? Of course not. Uh, of, of course not. And, and it's like, let's not forget what Hamas started. They broke the first ceasefire, and then they attacked Israel and murdered over 1,200 innocent willy, excuse me, women, children, babies, everything, and, and brutalized it in, in the most you know, unspeakable kinds of ways. Uh, and so that really is the ultimate, you know, you know criminal war uh, uh, kinds of, uh, this is absolutely an unequiv unequivocal uh, attack to destroy Israel. And we must remember that that's how started all of this. So when asked if he's comfortable with the war crimes Israel's committing, are they committing war crimes? He goes, of course not. Of course not. And then he goes on to talk about this was an attempt to do the total destruction of Israel. Oh, really? Because from where I'm sitting, it looks like we are witnessing the total destruction of Gaza. That part seems not hypothetical or theoretical. It seems quite real, happening in reality right now, right in front of our faces. I, I just can't. I can't. When somebody's this disconnected from reality, talking about the situation, it drives me crazy. So you don't think they committed any war crimes? None. Zero. None. So every single time they bombed a hospital, or a school, or a marketplace, or a mosque, or a church, or a UN building, every single time, it was totally legit. It was totally on the up and up. When they killed 76 journalists. Oh, all of that was in self-defense. The journalists were just Hamas. What are you talking about here? When you did a total siege and cut off all the food, fuel, and water to 2.3 million people? There's no, no, everything's fine. Everything's legal there. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. The number of Palestinians who have lost their lives, 7,000 children, 15 or 16,000 civilians dead. Do you believe Israel is doing enough to minimize civilian casualties? No. One, you know, one, one death is too, too many. It's a tragic. I don't, I don't value uh, any Palestinian child life any more than, or any less than my own child as well, too. It's heartbreaking and it's awful. Uh, you know, but I do fundamentally believe that Israel must destroy Hamas to achieve long uh, changing uh, conditions that allow for priests to prosper. They just have to destroy Hamas. Oh, simple. Thank you. That's all they got to just destroy Hamas. It's like when George Bush said, we're going to wage a war on terror. We just have to defeat terrorism. We just have to defeat it. And then we're good. Well, hold on now. You're never going to, quote unquote, defeat terrorism. That's not a thing. You can't do that. What are you going to like? Uh, at what point can you plant the flag and throw the parade and say, terrorism has been defeated, we will never see it again. You're never going to see that. By the same token, you're never going to eradicate Hamas, because when you create 10,000 new orphans, as they did in this bombing campaign, what are the politics going to be of those kids who lost their family members? Are they all of a sudden going to be Gandhi? Are they going to be peaceniks? Or are they going to be Hamas 2.0, except this time three times as large and powerful? So, look... I, I mean, I don't want to be an asshole, but he seems like he might not even be bright enough to understand the conception that perhaps you're creating more Hamas right now, right? Maybe he doesn't realize that. But the fact that he thinks that's an achievable goal, like that's, oh yeah, you just, obviously they got to eradicate Hamas. Oh really? Okay, well, how's that going? That's right. Look at the numbers. 19,660 civilians dead and 21,000 Palestinians killed. So you're over 90% civilian death rate. 8,000 children. 1.7 million people displaced. All of the civilian infrastructure all over the place being leveled. 50% of Gaza was wiped off the map. They're annexing North Gaza now. He looks at that and he goes, I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem. Of course they're not committing war crimes. Well, I, I ask this question sincerely. Is there literally anything that Israel can do where Fetterman would admit Okay, that goes too far. Because it seems like the answer is no. It seems like the answer is no. I mean, maybe you could say if they dropped a nuke, he'd be like, okay, okay, that's too far. But anything outside of that, and by the way, I'm not even sure if you dropped a nuke if he would react like that. 
just so everybody understands, he made an active decision to go all in being a pro-Israel sycophant. And it all had to do with, he was afraid when he was running in the primary against Connor Lamb, he was afraid APAC was going to send in a bunch of money to support the more centrist Democrat, Connor Lamb. So he reached out to APAC and DMFI and said, what do you want my position on Israel to be? They gave him his exact position on Israel, and he said, done deal. Stay out of my race in the sense that you don't fund my opponent and maybe give me some contributions, and we're goodsies. He literally had APAC and DMFI edit his position on Israel, and he signed off on it. And now all that's coming through. Just going over the top with it. It's all about the lobbying money. I don't know what John Fetterman even really thinks on the issue, or if he thinks about it at all. He might not even have a position. But for sure, there was a corrupt deal behind the scenes with these groups, and you're seeing the fruits of it here. War crimes apologist and war crimes denier. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.